Today, we will observe the removal, care, and maintenance process of a Dynisco pressure sensor from an extruder. Do not attempt removal of the sensor while there is pressure in the process still, as this could cause polymer ejection through the sensor mounting hole. The technician will unscrew the sensor from the extruder. Ensure that you are wearing proper safety equipment while removing the sensor. Dynisco recommends that sensors are removed from the process while hot. The technician then wipes clean the sensor immediately with a cotton rag. Dynisco does not recommend the use of sharp tools, screwdrivers, or wire brushes for removing polymers. Now that the material has been cleaned off the diaphragm, the technician examines the tip for damage or deformations. Damage may appear as a depression or a bubble on the diaphragm. Any type of deformation may affect the pressure reading. If damage is discovered, Dynisco recommends the sensor be sent back for evaluation by our repair department and to use a spare sensor in its place. With the sensor out of the mounting hole, the technician will now address any material that has entered the threaded area in the 45 degree seat. This is accomplished with the Dynisco Mounting Hole Cleaning Toolkit, which is highly recommended for routine maintenance of the mounting hole. The kit consists of a four fluted cleaning drill for cleaning the 1 half 20 UNF threads and then a special tool for cleaning the 45 degree seat. The technician will manually spin both tools into the threads of the mounting hole to remove polymer residue and other materials. After the hole has been properly cleaned, the technician uses the gauge plug that is included in the kit to check the mounting hole for contact points via the die chem machine blue. The die chem should not be missing around the edge of the tip. Only the 45 degree seat will make contact. If contact is made on the outer diameter of the tip, then there is potentially pressure building on the sensing end of the sensor. This can cause damage, such as depressions or bubbles. Once the mounting hole has been checked for cleanliness and contact points, the sensor can be reinstalled into the process. The correct mounting torque should be used when threading the sensor back into the mounting hole. For the 1 half 20 UNF threaded pressure sensor, the recommended torque is 100 inch pounds, Hand tight and a quarter turn is the best practice. Over torque can cause the threads to gall. If your sensor is over torqued, anti seize is highly recommended to aid in future removal of the sensor. Dynisco recommends that the pressure sensor be brought up to process temperature with zero pressure applied for calibration with the process instrumentation. Please visit our Knowledge Center at dynisco.com for helpful information about calibrating our pressure sensors. Proper care and maintenance of your sensors and mounts is essential for the reduction of operating costs and prolonging the lifespan of your sensors. Rely on Dynisco to help provide a window into your process. For more information, visit Dynisco.com.